Speaking at a White House event on jobs last week, President Trump turned to address Apple CEO Tim Cook and got his name wrong. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Twitter and late night comics had a field day. He got confused after meeting Ronald McDonald last week. And... The story died down, but now five days later, the president defending himself on Twitter, writing, quote, I quickly referred to Tim plus Apple as Tim Apple as an easy way to save time and words. The delayed pushback speaks to the president's seeming inability to poke fun at himself or go along with a joke. Mr. Trump has made it clear he does not find at all funny the Alec Baldwin impression of him on Saturday Night Live. We need war. The president tweeting last month that SNL is a Republican hit job and suggested there should be retribution. The Tim Apple episode is also an example of the president attempting to spin something he said on camera, which he's done with serious issues, too. Less than two weeks ago in Hanoi, the president said this about Kim Jong-un and the death of American student Otto Warmbier. I don't believe that he would have allowed that to happen. It just wasn't to his advantage to allow that to happen. The next day, President Trump claimed he was misrepresented, writing in a tweet that he holds North Korea responsible for Otto Warmbier's death, but he did not mention Kim Jong-un. Karen Travers, ABC News, the White House.